In this video, I will plan my goals and make my tending list for the month of November in my Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I post functional planning videos on my channel. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed, and I'll be right back. Right. It is finally time to prep the tending list for next month. I have this and we never did do this. I need to take this out of here and put it where I can find it. Um, that will go with my planner to talk to my kid about it. That's just a, a printable wild card. Um, from Cultivate What Matters you get with like Cold School Premium membership. Okay, and then what do I have in here? I've got some dots. I've got a couple of stickers left here. I've got the 2024 at a glance that I'm not really using. Oh good, and here's another one of these for next month. And I have these, I haven't been using these because they're in this front pocket and I guess I never look in here so I need to, um, make sure I'm looking at this stuff and not hiding it in my front pocket. Um, I need to go through these another time. Most of these are for PTO and work stuff. So let's get this out and then let's go to October because this is the current month and what we're doing. So I didn't do anything here. Um, I've talked about in previous videos where I was using this kind of like as a memory spread because I already have another planner and so I don't really want to have monthly plans in two places. Um, I use Google Calendar to kind of keep track of things but then I use my paper planner to just review it and really you know find my plans and know what's going on. Um, and that is not this book. So I decorated it to, ch to try out some of these stickers from Planner Kate, but I didn't end up writing anything in here. I did it one month. Um, in, in case you missed that video, I'll just show you real quick. I, it, this is the intention, really, but it's just one of those things that never um, ends up happening. <laughs> okay, and then this is the um, current tending list for October, and we're gonna be working on November. Now, for me, I'm filming this early, so we're not actually done with October yet. Um, the prep party from Goal School Premium is on the 25th, but today when I'm filming this is the 22nd, so we've still got quite a bit of October left, so that's why most of the stuff isn't gonna get checked off. And then let's be real, my I'm not checking things off down here in the little habit <laughs> section anyway, so. I don't know, it's not a big deal, but um, I just wanted to note that, that I'm not really done with October yet, but I need to get my November prepped. So um, we have, this is done, everything is done over here. All of the projects that I broke out are done. And I am going to highlight this last one to finish it and move my little Kanban board thing over. Now, what I'm doing here, this is gonna happen actually maybe later today. I just need to check my bank account. So we'll move these into in progress and I have nothing left here on my to-do section. So actually, I just realized I didn't even explain this. So if you haven't seen this before, this is a new dashboard from Cultivate What Matters. They released it with the uh, 2025 Power Sheets collection. It snaps into your Power Sheets, just really easy like this. And um, I use it as a Kanban board. You can actually write on this with wet erase or dry erase, but I use a little um, post-its, or they're not post-it brand, but just little sticky notes, and I cut them into threes or fours, depending on how big I'm writing, and um, I put all of my task things. So if I have a project, I make one for each of the steps, or if it's just a simple thing, I will just make one for each little task. And then at the beginning of the month, I have them all up here, and then I can move them as I do them. So, like I said, we're not um, currently at the end of November, but this stuff is actually gonna happen 
um, today I'm making the tending list and either today or tomorrow I will be making the savings deposits. So everything is gonna be done. So I'm really happy about that and let's um, go ahead and move on to the month in review. So this I've already done. I just went ahead and did it before filming so that it wouldn't take so long in the video. Um, but let's talk about it. So for my gratitude, I am really grateful for the community here around the channel and my Instagram and everything. It's so supportive, people are so kind, and they encourage me to just keep going and growing. And so if you're watching this, thank you so much. I don't know that I can even express how grateful I am for your company and just like your companionship on this journey of just trying to improve myself and learn how to plan better and manage my life better and be a better like mom and wife. And it's just wonderful. Like, thank you for being here. Um, so I'm super grateful for you and also cooler weather. <laughs> we're finally starting to see some drops in the temperature. And I, and when I say cooler weather, I mean, we're now we're in the eighties. So it's, it's just, it's nice. It's nice to not constantly just be sweating every time I walk outside. Um, so I also have that over here in good things. Just cooler weather is a good thing. Um, Pepper came back. So Pepper is a cat that last year showed up around Halloween and I loved it because he's a black cat and it was like perfect. I love Halloween and just having a black cat show up at my house um, at Halloween was just so much fun. And we took care of him for a while. And when I say take care of him, I just mean like we fed him, we put some flea medicine on him. We weren't sure if he was someone's pet or not. So we didn't want to like take him and go have him like neutered and all that. We wanted to give it some time. He did seem like a stray just because he was kind of like skinny when he first showed up and he was always dirty and everything. But um, after a few months, he just stopped showing up. So either someone else, we figured either someone else adopted him or whatever, but we just didn't really have the chance to officially take him in. So he's back now and we're kind of starting that process over again of questioning whether or not we should keep him or if he's just someone's pet that is coming outside now that the weather's cooling off. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but I love his company. He shows up at my back door every morning at 5.30 and he comes in the house and lets me pet him and you know, rolls around on the floor and it's great and I love it. And, and so I'm just enjoying this time and we'll see what comes of it. The other good thing is that the people at the chili cook-off for the PTO thing at the school for the teachers, they loved the two chilies that I brought in. I did a white chicken chili and then like a Wendy's copycat chili. And they were like maybe 14 different chilies there and my two were the second and the third to go. So they were gone way early and it was so much fun just to see that um, people liked what I made. I love to cook and I, I just, I don't, I get to cook for my family only really. So it was so much fun to like, just have that, I don't know, justification, reassurance that my cooking is good. So that was fun. And goals that are growing well are my personal habits. Even though I've been struggling this month, I'm actually seeing the progress I've made throughout that struggle. Um, I have had some issues where I just kind of like, I wanted to give up on the getting dressed thing. Um, I normally just wear like lounge clothes at home and like leggings, workout clothes, that kind of thing. And some days I just don't even change out of my pajamas because I don't need to. And so it's kind of like, why am I trying to get dressed? And the reason I am is because I am way more productive and I feel better about myself. I have just like a p more positive outlook, I guess. And I'm more likely to do the things that I wanna do when I'm ready for the day. Um, so it gets, it's hard though, because I'm just used to being comfortable. I don't wanna wear things that are not comfortable. Anyway, long story short, I kind of had this blip where I was like, what am I doing? Why am I trying this? Because it was hard, you know, change is hard. Um, but I've kind of come through that a little more, I think, and I'm seeing, um, progress there. And so I'm, I'm happy about it. And I think that's a goal that is growing well, 
because it's like growing and I'm making progress despite wanting to quit. <laughs> okay, and then what's not working? Nitpicking my standards of success and not celebrating very basic wins. And this kind of goes hand in hand, I think, with the personal habits. Also with my cleaning and things, I'm noticing that I'm not wanting to check things off as done because they're not good enough or like I didn't do them good enough or to some arbitrary standard I had set in my brain and I didn't really think through. It's more of just, oh, well, it's not sparkling, so it must not be done. Even though it's, I don't know how to explain it. I'm, I'm just, I'm very hard on myself with cleaning because of all of the inundation of like cleaning content we see where it's like, oh, you need to be like scrubbing your floor every single day after dinner or like if, like you're disgusting and dirty if you haven't done, I don't know, X, Y, Z. If you're not vacuuming or sweeping every, you know, three times a day, then you're not clean enough or something. Like, and I know in my brain, like I know that that's silly and like it's like rage bait or whatever people are doing to try to get engagement on social media. But at the same time, that does like seep into your like unconscious and it's like, oh, well, you know, I didn't sweep my floor at all this week. So I must be like neglecting things. And it's like, but when you really go look at it, it's not dirty. Like our lifestyle isn't such that my floor gets that dirty. And so, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like I have to really think about what is right for my life my season of life, my family and our home, and what is clean, you know? It doesn't have to be like uh, sanitized where someone can like perform a surgery on my floor, right? Like we walk there. So no matter what, it's always going to have some level of dirt, I guess you could say, even if it's just a little bit. So uh, that's the, the, those are the kinds of things that um, you know, there might be fingerprints on my stainless steel fridge because I just didn't take the time to use the special cleaner and get the special cloth and do it exactly right. Like, it's fine. Like, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean, it, mean, it literally means nothing. Like, our food is safe, our kitchen is clean. Uh, it just doesn't mean anything, and I don't need to be holding myself to that standard. Okay, I'm rambling about that enough, but not celebrating very basic wins is another thing that um, I think I feel that if it's something I've already overcome or accomplished, then it's not worthy of celebrating whenever I do it again or continue to do it, especially if it's like a habit or a routine that I'm trying to maintain. I think, oh, well, that's some, like that's old hat. That's something I should already know how to do. So when I do it, it's not special or, and, and it's not, it's not like special. And I'm not saying like, let's like, you know, pop the champagne every time I do something basic, but just recognizing that continuing to make the progress and continuing to do the things that I wanted to do, even though now it's a habit or now it's, it's, it's not hard to do anymore, continuing to do that is good. And if some months that's all I do is just maintain the status quo on some things, then that is worth celebrating, you know? So anyhow, um, what I read or listened to, I haven't really finished any books this month. I've tried a few books that I thought I wanted to read and it turned out they weren't for me. So I've kind of had like a little bit of a dud month with reading, but I am currently reading Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I like it, it's, it's good. And then a favorite memories were, was the Harry Potter marathon with my son. He had a week off of school and so every day we watched a Harry Potter movie and made popcorn and one day I burnt the popcorn and we were just laughing about it. And it's just a fun memory and I'm glad we had, it was like a super simple way to just have a nice little vacation with my son. So now let's go into November um, and I have my note here to remember to use this because sometimes Things are out of sight, out of mind with me. I say sometimes, every, all the time. If I don't see it, it's out of sight, out of mind, and I forget about it. So I like to have my little reminders to use the new Snap-in. So that's what we have here. And we need to do the little reset here. So let's do the Cultivated Life Evaluation check-in first. And I am feeling really great about community. Um, now that I am fully entrenched in PTO activities, I've. I feel really great about it. So I'm gonna say like an eight. 
family, we're always at a 10. It's wonderful, I love it. Finances, I'm feeling great about, um, I'm gonna say seven. Health and wellness, uh, I didn't do much. We, we signed up for a gym membership in, and then in October was like the first month we had it. And then I didn't really go uh, very much. Um, my intention was to go, my son goes after school. He walks over to the gym after school and then works out for about an hour with his friends. And my intention was to go and work out while he's there so that when he's done, I can take him home because I have to go pick him up anyway. So I thought, okay, go a little early and work out so that I can get a workout in as well. And I haven't been doing that. I've just been kind of working through that hour and then just going to pick him up um, without working out myself. And uh, so I'm kind of bummed about that, although it's not that serious. It, it is a new routine I'm working on. So I'm gonna say six because I am doing well with my nutrition. Um, so it's not all terrible. Home and spaces, um, I decorated for Halloween and the house looks great. I have been keeping the house tidy. Um, this past week, I kind of let cleaning go, and that was kind of frustrating. After a while, I was like, okay, I really gotta change something here. Um, and so I did end up cleaning and tidying up, and once I did it, it didn't take that long. Um, I did help my son. He cleaned out his room and kind of, we did like a big declutter of his closet. Um, he got rid of a bunch of stuff, and then we reorganized things. And then we have a spare bedroom that had just a bunch of overflow stuff that we cleaned out. and tidied up so I don't know I'm feeling really good about home and spaces and I'm gonna say eight so for personal growth that right now for me personal growth is just kind of like hobbies reading formula one that kind of thing um, gaming um, I've broken out personal development like routines and habits and goal setting and stuff I've broken that out to be my little free space here so um, I'm not really counting that in the personal growth section right now. I'm thinking uh, maybe a seven because I did want to do more gaming and I kind of like gave up on reading some things and so it wasn't the best but it was also good. Like I also don't feel like I'm lacking in that area. So work and learning, I'm gonna say eight. I have been putting a lot of effort into my blog and to setting up um, systems and making it easier to do the things I wanna do with my channel and everything. And I feel really good about that. And I have a really great positive outlook for like this whole quarter and then just upcoming things. So I'm really happy with work right now. And then the habits and routines, um, I feel really great about Everything that I said I wanted to do, I did. And so that's great. It's still a struggle. I'm not checking off my habits, but I'm learning. I'm learning why. I'm learning that I am trying to do too many things, which is like a, that is like a thing for me. I always think I can do more. I always think I have more energy than I do and more time than I do. And um, I always think, oh, that's not that big of a deal. I can sneak that in as another thing I can do. And I always, and, and I know that about myself and I tell myself not to do too much. And I'm saying this now, but I'm still probably gonna end up trying to add things to my tending list. That's too much. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to do about that. So <laughs> we're just gonna say like a six because I'm very proud of myself for doing the things I said I was gonna do. And I am happy that I have like a positive outlook on it. Um, I do think I want to re <laughs> reconfigure what I'm trying to do in my daily habits and just see where I can, I don't know, cut some things out maybe and put those on like another time maybe I don't know okay so important okay so I, what I want to do here is just kind of compare where I was at um, before so community is plus two so we went up there um, I think uh, family is always the same 
finances. Oh, we went down on finances. I wonder why, why do I feel that way? I think I just had like a big spendy kind of month. Um, there were a lot of expenses uh, that kind of came up and I don't know. It wasn't bad, but I'm surprised I went down. I thought it would have at least stayed the same. Health and wellness, I went down. <laughs> okay, health and wellness went down. That's okay. I have a plan going forward or just like a loose plan. Um, I think we can improve that this month. Home and spaces, oops, home and spaces went up one. Uh, personal growth went down one. That's interesting. I guess that's just because I kind of felt like I didn't do much. We also didn't have much Formula One in October um, as, as of when I'm filming this. We have only had one race in October. And so like, I just, I guess I've done, I've been focusing a lot more on work this past month instead of doing hobby things, which is fine. Um, I, I knew I was gonna do that and I'm okay with that. Work and learning, we did go up, good. And then habits and routines, we stayed the same. Okay, so it looks like here I went down in finances and I went down in personal growth. And, s oh wait, I wrote plus two here, but it's a down. Let me fix that. So we went down the most, the most in health and wellness, and then we went down one each in finances and personal growth. So I don't know, I think that's okay though. The finances was not a big deal and um, personal growth also just not that big of a deal. It was something I knew was gonna happen and maybe I shouldn't have dinged myself and taken up a point, but also, I wasn't comparing it to last month, so. Okay, but let's real quick do the monthly reset and then we're gonna review the quarterly refresh and take all of this information and kind of figure out the plan going forward. So important to do's for November is, um, I don't really know actually. Um, I have my planner here and I kind of just wanna go ahead and look at what I have in the back as far as what kind of like home projects need to happen and um, really it's just decorating for fall. So take down Halloween and do um, decorate for fall and this is something I've been trying to do is actually make um, like tasky things have a verb so um, take down the Halloween decorations decorate for fall um, we will need to do like a deep clean of our living areas so deep clean uh, living room and game room and we also need to do some just regular maintenance stuff on um, HVAC and cleaning the dishwasher and stuff. So those are some home tasks. And then um, I do want to, I didn't put a verb here, but we'll just say maintain, maintenance. I don't know. Um, we will need to, it's, it's Thanksgiving. So for Thanksgiving, we will be having, I will be doing Thanksgiving at my house. So I need to create a Thanksgiving plan. Um, and with that plan will come its own little tasks. Um, like shopping and everything. And then also I need to create like a shopping plan for like Black Friday and Christmas shopping. And just kind of figure out what are the things I want or we've been kind of needing. And that way I have like somewhere to start whenever all the sales pop up and I can go and like look for the things that we've already kind of had on all our lists and anything gifty, obviously, for the upcoming Christmas holiday. I can't really think of anything else to do. 
Um, on my calendar, we have the quilt festival that I am going on a little staycation trip with my mom and my sister at the very beginning of November. So that will fulfill some like family and personal growth, like hobby stuff. And I guess I need to make a shopping list or like a wish list. Um, I guess we'll put this here. This is part of um, the shopping plan. Quilt Fest. And um, the other thing I'm going on is another shopping thing, which is the Nutcracker Market, which is a big, huge holiday market here in Houston. And it's another thing my mom and my sister and I do every year. So that is the 14th through the 17th. I'll only be going one of those days. So we have to make a plan for that. And Thanksgiving is on like it's late this month, right? It's on the 28th. Um, And then of course, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all of that stuff after that. Um, we have um, the daylight savings where we need to do the fall back uh, on November 3rd. And then my son has no school for the week of Thanksgiving, which is week 48, I'm sure, right? I think it's just that week, I don't think. Oh, he has the fifth off as well. Okay, so the 25th through the 29th and then the fifth. So let me write those. So November 5th, no school. And then the 25th through the 29th is no school. And my husband will be in town this weekend um, because I will not be home. He will definitely be here. And then I think he's coming home on the 22nd and then he'll stay through December, that first week of December probably. We'll just say TK home. Okay, goals to make progress on. I am gonna wait until we kind of look at this. And then on my mind is just uh, 2025 plans for my channel. And also um, holiday shopping. And right now I am, I'm having some like I, I talked about nutrition earlier. Um, I just, ha I have some things that I maintain through diet um, and I'm kind of having some issues and I'm needing to take some things out of my diet right now and figure out what's triggering that. And so I am doing, currently I am avoiding um, all dairy and um, added sugars, which I, I, always try to avoid added sugars, but let's be honest, there are plenty of things I'm like, oh, that's not a big deal, I'll have some, but I need to kind of tighten that back up. And the other thing is I'm actually taking out all rice and like gluten-free starches. Like, um, so I need to eat gluten-free so I don't eat wheat at all. And I usually just have rice or I have gluten-free pasta which is made from like corn and potato flour, I think. Um, and I'm, I'm just basically, I'm taking all potatoes, corn and rice out, and then we're gonna just add them back in one at a time. Um, so I'm gonna say starches here, but it's not really, like I'm eating vegetables. Like I'll eat sweet potatoes because they're different than white potatoes, but um, Anyway, that is right now, I'm kind of in the elimination phase of that and then we'll be adding that back in. So that's actually gonna make um, Thanksgiving a little bit tricky. And I need to figure out something about that. Um, yeah, 
<laughs> so there's that. And then, so now let's look at, um, we'll just say I definitely want to keep my health and wellness in mind as one of the goals I wanna make progress on just because of kind of this food thing. That also makes menu planning difficult because it's the things that I already had planned. I basically have to scratch all that unless I just wanna make double meals. I can cook just for my kid to eat and then I have to cook just for me, which is kind of how it's been this past week. So I, I really ideally would be, uh, I gotta redo my menu plan. So here, let's, uh, Let's do that. And I have a free menu planning guide and workbook and I'm gonna print that out for myself and work through that. So I might make a video about it just to show you how it works. I've had this for a long time um, and I've just recently, like this past month, updated it. It's all new and like, updated like the graphics look better everything looks a lot nicer and I've added a whole bunch of pages so it's time for a video about that anyway but that's free you just need to um, sign up for my newsletter I'll link where you can find that in the, probably the description of this video and um, hopefully soon I will film that video so now I want to kind of review before we do the rest of these goals to make progress on I want to review what I said I was gonna do this quarter so that I'm not forgetting because like I said, out of sight, out of mind, these are things that I really need to keep in mind. So here I'm saying no to mindless scrolling even in bed and I'm still struggling with that. Um, systems that don't serve me, I, I'm, I've let go of a lot here and um, I think I need to let go more of the cleaning I need to unlearn a lot of things about cleaning. Let's put it that way. Um, which goals need more nourishment? Community, which I feel like I've done great on. Home and spaces, I'm really happy with other than the cleaning, but that's okay. Work and learning, I'm doing great on. Habits and routines, those are things that I need to kind of like improve a little bit. And then what I'm saying yes to reading in bed, uh, PTO involvement, weekend cleaning, seasonal decor, simple systems, PM routine. So it's the routines that I'm struggling with the most. So that's, and that's, that's par for the course for me. Um, that's not a surprise. Um, so we will keep making progress on our routines. And um, honestly, just I think finances because we're entering a big spendy period. So let's kind of keep an eye on finances and make sure I'm still making those savings targets that I'd set for myself and not just kind of saying, oh, well, I'm just gonna spend this instead and kind of giving in to like impulse buying with sales and such. So we will make progress on those. And then work and learning is still a big one, even though I'm very happy with where I'm going with that right now. Um, I, I wanna keep that momentum going. So I wanna keep making progress on those things and just set myself up for a really productive and successful 2025. Okay, so um, let's look at what I said I was gonna do here. Um, my goals are saving money for the future, so that we have covered with um, just sticking to that. Um, the evening routine I really need to work on, and um, the systems I feel great with, I've created the systems for work, so my work goal for this quarter was to create and follow simple systems. The creation part is done. Now the sticking to the plan part is the part that I need to really focus on now because I, I love planning, but then it falls apart by the time it's time to like implement and just kind of keep going with it. So we're gonna really make sure to stick with the systems. And just like I said earlier, maintaining that, um, that is something worth celebrating. Like just sticking to that system I created and not having like, I don't have to come up with new ways to do anything. I figured it all out and it's all working. I just need to keep going with that. And that is gonna be the standard of success is did I just keep going, <laughs> you know? So that's that. And then um, my tending list cheat sheet. So I have created this, these are blank pages that um, I turned into like a cheat sheet. So over here are the action ideas for the season. 
and then I took that and I turned it into which, which are monthly things and when do I do them, wh what are weekly rhythms and what day of the week am I doing those, and then the daily habits. So this is the cheat sheet that I'll be using to make my tending list. I've already figured it out, so it's easy. I want to decorate for fall, deep clean the living areas, review my budget and save money, fulfill PTO responsibilities, plan and set goals, and plan content. So those are all gonna go in the monthly action areas, the monthly action items area of my tending list, and then I have the weekly rhythms, which, is gonna change, the PTO content is gonna change to um, Sunday because I realized I had a little happy accident and realized it just works better on Sunday, so that's actually gonna get moved um, next time. But everything else is good, and then the getting dressed in real clothes is one I'm gonna keep um, practicing Italian, is something I'm keeping. Basically, I wanna keep all of these, but I am not going to um, stress out over if I check them all off or not. These, all of these things support the goals I wanna do. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of keep the same attitude that I had here of just, oh well. We just want to see if we're doing it more than getting mad that I'm not doing it. I, I think that's where, where I'm at with that. I had to change my uh, weekly rhythm here and I, do, I need to change this again. This is something that is constantly evolving because I get very ambitious and think, oh, this is how the day is gonna go. And then I do it and I'm like, oh wait, that doesn't really work. And so then I change it and then I realize, okay, that still doesn't work. And so, you know, it's I give myself grace and I figure out um, what needs to change and then that's just my evening routine um, so yeah okay let's move into November and actually make this tending list um, you know I do have these leftover stickers here that I was using in my fresh start that I might consider decorating this but again this is something that I'm gonna not I'm just gonna kind of let go I think give myself permission and not worry about this um, but this is the most important thing, so this is what we're doing. All right, so let's fill out the tending list using the cheat sheet. So I'm scanning here, and for November, I wanna decorate for fall. So how about we go like this? And um, I have my highlighters here. These are pen and gear highlighters from Walmart that I have um, customized with some labels. Let's make bullet points. So my monthly action items are decorate for fall and deep clean the living areas. So those are both home. And then I don't have any more monthly that are home. And then next is budget, PTO, planning, and planning content. So we have budget, PTO, planning, and planning content, which is a work one. Okay, so those are the ones that are on my cheat sheet, and then I just kind of need to look and see, are any of those important to-dos that are on my monthly reset, are any of those like a bigger project that I need to kind of account for here? Um, but let's just write those in real quick. So we have Decorate for fall, deep, clean, living areas, and review budget and save money 
Remember, we're trying to get an action word in there. Um, PTO is, um, I, I've been writing fulfill PTO responsibilities. Um, it sounds very formal, but I think it also kind of helps trick my brain into being like, hey, this is important. <laughs> the purple is planning. So I'm um, plan, I want to, what did I say before? Plan and set goals. Yeah, so basically I'm, I'm setting goals and I'm planning to make them work. So maybe I should have said set goals and plan, but same thing. Um, plan and set goals. And then this is um, creating content. Basically I'm planning the content here and then I'm creating the content on a weekly basis. So um, plan content for December. So the reason I'm specifically saying December is because I plan farther than that, but that's the standard of success. If I at least get December done, that goal has been completed for this month. Instead of kind of leaving it open-ended and it's like, well, you know, especially for planning. So maybe I should say that here. So plan and set goals for December because you know we can plan infinitely into the future but for this purpose we need a stopping point to say we did it so those are the monthly things and then on here taking down Halloween and decorating for fall is kind of like together deep cleaning the living room and the game room is something that I need to decide if I need to break that out into steps or if that's just something we can knock out in a day especially when my husband's home it's so much easier because he'll move all the furniture like while I'm vacuuming uh, it cuts down on that time really really quickly creating a plan for Thanksgiving so that I think so normally, Thanksgiving is a food holiday for most people, right? There's a lot of food and cooking involved in that. And for me, food is always green for health and wellness. However, it's a family holiday. And for me and my family, the cooking and the, all of that is something we do together as a family. And that Thanksgiving falls into the family category first before the food stuff. So maybe shopping for the food is something I, I would consider part of like my normal groceries, which would happen with the green color. But when we think about the grand scheme of things, the reason I'm trying to have a nice Thanksgiving, I'm doing that for the purpose of creating memories for my family and having that time together where we're just stopping and thinking about, you know, just being together and being and having gratitude for that and so overall it's a family it, it, it belongs with the family color right so we are going to um, celebrate Thanksgiving it is going to be my monthly action item and then that will I will have to break that out into smaller tasks that we can then um, you know, divide the little progress bar into how many tasks I have for it. And then that will kind of help us see the progress we're making. Okay, and then the other thing is creating a, ooh, that was on this page, right? Creating a shopping plan. So I have a few different things that I'm gonna, a few different times this month where I'm gonna be shopping. And um, so that is going to really play hand in hand with finances. And I am going to, even though the shopping is mostly going to be happening like on my trips um, with my mom and my sister, and that would kind of go with family, the plan, the plan is so that I can stick to my financial goals. And so that's why I'm choosing blue here for that the plan for the shopping. I could just easily go shopping and just whip out my credit card and just spend without thinking of my financial plan. And then, you know, I don't need to make a plan to do that. I would just go and not have a plan. But the plan itself 
is so that I can stick with my financial goals. So we will go ahead and um, say a create shopping plans. So not only am I shopping for quilt stuff and hobby stuff, and then I'm shopping for like holiday things and gifts um, at the next event. We also have Black Friday, which is gifts and also just things we need that tend to go on sale during those that weekend. And then also Thanksgiving, buying extra food and figuring out what uh, you know, sometimes things go on sale and I can buy more of that and preserve it, like freeze it or whatever for the future. And so what do I need to do there? Um, do I buy two turkeys because they're on sale and then I can smoke one and preserve it? I don't know. That's what I need to kind of think of. And that uh, that's going to cost extra money too. So I do need to account for that in my grocery budget and just kind of have a plan there for how much I think I'm going to be spending and how much I can spend. Okay, and then I have just another note here to list my weekly rhythms in the order of the weekdays or the time of day when they would need to happen. So the rhythms is which day do I do it? And then the, the time of day is for the action or for the daily habit. So this is just another reminder. So I'm gonna put it over here. So then the weekly action items, this is where I had a change. So I'm not gonna start here with PTO. I'm gonna start with planning next week. And then I'm gonna move PTO between the, the food and the creating content, which actually I should make creating content at the top because even though it doesn't happen on a specific day, it needs to happen throughout that week. So let's put that one first. So we have creating content. And then I think the next one was plan next week, right? And then clean the house. Okay, so planning is purple. So Plan next week, clean the house on Saturday, prep food on Saturday, and um, Sunday is PTO content. I feel like I forgot something. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, well, I didn't, I didn't forget anything. <laughs> okay, so this is create content for next week. That's another thing I'm adding here. Just like with the December, I need to have like a container. I need to know how, you know, what is success? Is it, as long as I have the content for next week done and scheduled and ready to go, then I'm, I'm making progress and I'm being successful. Of course, I like to get ahead. And so that is kind of like a bonus. If I have time to create extra content, I will. And that's why having the plan in place is good because then I know what I can make next when I have extra time. But the success, the measurement of, did I do this thing is, do I have all three of my videos scheduled for next week and whatever blog posts I wanted to do, is that all done? Then yes, that's, that's how I check that off. Okay, and then we are going to plan next week. And that, um, I want to do on Thursday is when I kind of do my brain dump and kind of wrap my head around how I want next week to go. And then on Friday I film it and I actually physically write down the plans um, in, you know, in overview form. <laughs> but it really, um, the bulk of it happens on Thursday when I'm doing my brain dump. Okay. And then clean clean the house happens on Saturday morning while we're waiting for the groceries to arrive 
and I have a sticky note that I keep track of the weekly cleaning tasks and then the monthly cleaning tasks that need to happen and that's my container is just get as many of those things checked off as I can and this is prep food for next week and that happens on Saturday um, the groceries get delivered you know in the morning um, so in the second half of the day I like to process what I can um, and then get it ready to go so that I don't have to do that much during the week and then the last thing is um, create PTO content for next week so And this is where I'm running out of space. Um, for next week. And that happens on Sundays. And I'm not using that last line, so that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our daily action items or our daily habits here. And this is a dashboard insert from Planner Kate. It is in any of the monthly kit listings. Um, if you're new to Planner Kate, the website can be a little bit overwhelming. And so if you want to use one of these, I like this because it's bigger and I don't need to know like the weeks, the week breakdown, like the, the, the power sheets has it. Um, and plus I start my week on a Monday, not a Sunday. So this just works better for me and I like that it's bigger and I think there's space for one extra habit even. So um, anyhow, if you want one of these, just let me know. They're very inexpensive. I think they're only $1.50. You can usually find these in the like markdown section too. Um, and then they'll be like half price. And then you can stack my coupon code on it. <laughs> so. Um, you know, if, if you can't find them, let me know and I will help you find it. All right, so we have that and I should have written on it. I meant to write on it first so that I wouldn't have to fight with the coil here, but I didn't. So let's put these on here. Um, I'm going to just highlight the whole thing for what it is instead of making the um, bullet point and Let's see, how do I wanna do that? What's the order here? I need um, habits and routines, personal growth, family, more habits and routines, cleaning, more personal growth. Okay, so I just have to keep flipping back and forth and make sure. So we're just gonna kinda highlight put a highlight down and then right over top of it. So we've got that. We've got personal growth. That one's for Duolingo. <laughs> um, we have family. This is homework. Helping my son stick, stay on top of his homework goals. Um, planning for tomorrow. And uh, tidy, 10 minute tidy, then habits and routines, then reading. I need to close all of these. Um, 10 minute tidy, with choosing clothes and reading in bed. So. 10 minute tidy. Choosing clothes. And the last one is reading in bed instead of scrolling my phone. 
which I struggled with last month. That's another reason why I didn't read many things. Um, I figured it out is that the book I was reading, I just didn't really want to read it. And so I kept trying to trudge through and it was like boring. And I was like, why is this boring? It's part of a series I really liked. And then, I don't know, I just finally gave myself permission to stop reading it. <laughs> so now I have a better book on my Kindle to look at. And I think I'll actually read a little more and not be tempted to look at my phone. Okay, so then here is, um, get dressed. Um, this one I'm not doing an action word because I'm, it's, it's just Duolingo. Duolingo. I am on, today when I'm filming this is, I already did it for today and it's day 499 of practicing, um, Italian. So one day I will be able to speak it, but it is nice to like understand words, like especially when I'm watching Formula One and they're speaking Italian, like at Ferrari, it's kind of fun, like to understand some of the stuff they're saying. Um, and then help, we'll just say homework help. And the next one is to plan tomorrow. The next one is a 10 minute tidy. This one is choosing clothes for tomorrow. And then this last one is re, and it won't write. It's not liking writing on that highlighter for some reason. Read in bed. Okay, so now we have the tending list made. Like this is the bare bones of the tending list and now we can kind of think about making it look a little nicer. I like to write, um, I like to just kind of use stickers here for the encouraging words. I think I, I tend to not really like care about the encouraging words section very much. So I just kind of decorate, put a sticker there. Um, that's why it's really nice to have the uh, cultivate stickers that um, have the uh, quotes and stuff on them, which I don't know if I have them in here. This is an, another project I'm working on and I don't, I'm not putting this on my tending list um, as, to work on this. Um, it's mostly something I'm doing, I'm gonna be doing on camera. Um, but anyway, stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing um, this system. But. We'll just pull that one out and use that. I have all these other stickers here that I need to organize and um, I could look through them all, but I also don't want to sit here and fuss with it too much. Um, and then let's pick out some washi tape that I think will look nice for fall. And I think we're gonna use the new um, Bright Set because the colors are nice and rich and deep. I really think they're pretty. So let's just kind of put this here. And I need something to tear. I will use this. So we have that. And let's see. I want to put seeds are sprouting, I think. This is a cute one. It's got like Thanksgiving stuff. I wonder if we could put that on here. Yeah, let's do that. And then let, let's use this flower, I think. Oh, these ones match the fall stuff. Um, I kind of want to cover up more of the red because the red isn't really, the, we have more of a pink in here. So we'll just kind of go like, this maybe or maybe we should take the pink part off of here so that we can work with the fall colors a little bit better I don't know maybe I'm second guessing using this washi altogether because it's I like these these fall stickers I think that's what we will do let's do that with, let's get like this one, this one then. This is just like the gold sprouts from the neutral set, I think is probably a better idea for this. 
Oh, we also have, this is from a very old set. Is this the right color? It might be too pink. I don't know. Um, let's just kind of put this up here and see. Um, how do we want to do this? Seeds are sprouting. And we'll put grateful and a little coffee. I think it look cute here with like Thanksgiving and shopping plans and such because those are things that, you know, I'm very grateful that I have the, the ability to go shopping and, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, that's cute. I don't know, that's a little tilty. Let's kind of fix that. It looks a little too, too askew. Okay. And um, we have some little fall leaves, which I think are gonna be really cute up here. And I don't know, I'm just kind of putting stuff around. The pumpkin, definitely the pumpkin pie. I wonder, I gotta make some kind of little pumpkin dessert. My family doesn't like pumpkin pie anyway, so I can kind of make like a little um, special one that's like, um, you know, not, gluten and sugary I don't know I like I like pumpkin pumpkin flavored things anyway so um, yeah okay so now there's a pencil here but uh, we'll just put the pencil here in this little thing <laughs> I don't know whatever okay so we have that and we've used all the little fall stickers off the sheet here and that's fun I don't know I wish I would have written down which ones these came in but um, I gotta look and then I do have some more here in case I wanted to add a couple more um, flowers but I kind of like this that it's got that fall look to it um, I was thinking about maybe putting another strip here under this Um, let's see, I might be covering up where it says, uh, this will work, I think. Let's do, um, let's tear this a little bit. What I'm going to do is put this here and then tear it. Tear it like this. No, I don't like that. Let's keep tearing it a little more. I think something like that, maybe. And then this half can kind of go over here in this section we're not really using. Maybe I should move this there. Let's look at that. Let's see how that works. I have a sticker lifter, but uh, it's not here right now. I forgot to go grab it where I was using it last. I kind of feel like I need to have more than one set of planning tools sometimes. Okay, now let's put this Oh no, I'm ripping the paper. That's okay, it didn't rip much. Okay, so we will do it more like over here. Grateful. Okay, and I think I will move this again and put it like over here. 
I'm liking that there's not much green. I guess the coffee cup is green, but like there's not much green here and it does really have that fall vibe. I think that looks really cute. Okay, cool. I like it and that wasn't too painful <laughs> to decorate. I don't know. It's hard to get the torn washi to look just right. Okay, so we have that. And then now I need to kind of, oh, I want to change the week numbers here because I actually use week numbers in my planning and then I can write in the exact week I'm looking at. 45, 46, 47, 48. So we have those and I don't have my priority set. So what is that? Um, I feel like the priority is if I can stick with my content plan, I think is what I want the priority to be. Because that's, this is like the big thing that I've kind of made the plan, I've been sticking to it because it's new and fun and novelty, but the real um, hard part is gonna be sticking to that like all month long. Um, so that I actually um, create that like routine, I guess, um, and make it like solidified, make it official, I guess. So I'm going to um, make my priority be that I, and it, it, it matches, that's a bonus. <laughs> um, follow work systems, keep up with those systems that I created that I know work and that I'm happy with. Okay, I still haven't made my little sticky notes and this video is already really long, but you know what? I know you like long videos as much as I do, so uh, buckle up, we still have some stuff to do. I have space here for six goals I can break out. I also have notepads that I can add to this, but I wanna see which of the six of these big like monthly things are bigger projects that I need to incorporate here. And I, I want to move this so it's like more centered. Okay. So the reviewing my budget and saving money, I don't need to break out. It's the same every month. I also already have like the steps laid out here. So I am not really worried about that. And um, so that one I don't need to do. PTO, I don't need to do, I did it last month because I had um, a bigger project that I was working on, but now it's really just the weekly content creation and keeping up with, um, you know, the communication that way. And I don't have like a bigger goal there. So I'm not gonna do that one either. So um, now that I'm taking out the budget and the PTO, I can make um, a list for each one of those things. So let's do, one for um, decorating for fall, one for deep cleaning the living room, and we have um, planning and setting goals for November. That one doesn't really need one either because it's kind of already built in. Uh, maybe I don't need to do that one. Um, planning content for December, I can kind of break out into a couple of different content types and um, celebrating Thanksgiving is definitely gonna need one. It might even need like a bigger, a bigger couple of pages or something in a notebook. And then creating shopping plans. So let's see, decorating for fall, I'm going to need to put away Halloween and I'm gonna need to like review what I have for fall because I did get a lot of new decorations from my mom um, and so I kind of need to figure out where they're all gonna work and then I need to um, find actual storage for those things um, for when I do take them down 
because right now I think some of them are still in like cardboard boxes that my mom used to transport them to me. So I'm gonna need to get um, storage options. Uh, storage tubs, I guess for when it's time to take them down. And once I know what I'm using, it'll be easier to kind of figure out how that's gonna work. And then I think that's good for decorating for fall. Um, I wanna look into getting a wreath. Um, I don't have a nice fall wreath, um, but I also don't like to, sp to spend, wreaths are very expensive, the nice looking ones, and they're worth it, but I also just don't know that I want to spend the money. Um, so yeah, consider a wreath. <laughs> so those are four things. Oh, I forgot to write up here that we are going to, oh, I didn't actually put like, put out the decorations. So, so we want to say decorate for fall and actually uh, put out decor. And I think I also say um, make a cheat sheet for where stuff goes. And I'm gonna say make cheat sheets plural. So I can do one for where the Halloween stuff is because the newer things, now that I know where they go, I kinda wanna make like a little list to just keep with it so that it's easier. Um, I might even print out the pictures that I had taken of where I decorated everything and then just kind of say like, this is where this stuff goes and then print them and put them with it. I feel like that would be um, fun and make it super easy for next year. Um, so deep clean the living areas. So we'll start with the downstairs living room. We need to just kind of like declutter, move things out of that room that don't go there, put them away. Um, and then we'll do the same thing with the game room. The game room gets a lot more use and so there's always stuff everywhere up there. Um, okay, and then we need to move the furniture and do the floors. So, Move furniture and do floors for the living room. And then we'll just do the little hash marks, meaning the same thing for the game room. And then um, we will clean the furniture. wipe everything down really good. I don't think, I think there's a couple of little spots I need to treat on my downstairs couch, but stuff like that. Clean furniture in the living room and then clean furniture in the game room. And then there's stuff like the blinds and the windows, which just kind of will happen the day that I do the floors. Okay, and then this one is December content. And I need to do, um, basically I need to plan videos. Let's put the action word. We need to plan the videos plan the blog, plan Instagram, um, plan the newsletter, which I haven't been sending, but I, I will be doing that soon. So hopefully uh, you're looking forward to that. I want it to be something good that you actually want to read and not just like something you look at and delete, because I do that with a lot of newsletters and I don't want mine to be that way, so hopefully it'll be good. Um, plan the newsletter and then um, I think that's really the main thing. Um, let's just say plan Etsy 
and see if there's any new products I need to add, which that's not content. So let me take that off of there. That kind of goes in a different category in my other planner. And I don't need to keep adding things to this list just because there's more space there. Okay, and then for family is celebrating Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is going to have um, plan the menu. I also need to plan the dishes and make sure I have all of the right pans and pots and serving dishes and also the storage containers for everything that's done. Um, so planning like the dishes involved and making sure I have what I need and see if I need to borrow anything from my mom or whatever. Um, okay, planning the dishes and let's make a plan for like leftovers too for different ways to use the leftovers so that I know if I know there if there are other ingredients I need to buy that week so that we can use those leftovers in a different way I will have them and then we want to um, shop and then have a plan for um, just the day of plan um, plan the cooking like when does everything need to get prepped ahead um, and then I just need to actually enjoy the day right we're going to spend time together and it's not just going to be me in the kitchen all day while everyone else plays video games and then I say come eat and then it's me in the kitchen cleaning. It's never like that. I don't even know I am saying that. My family is really good about helping me and my son likes to help cook. Um, but I tend to be the type of person that says, oh, I don't need any help. Go enjoy your day. And I need to not do that. So it's really me. It's, I'm the problem, it's me. Um, okay, and then the shopping plans. is um, I need to plan for really the quilt market, the quilt festival one, I need to do that early. Um, that's gonna get checked off before the first because the trip starts on the first. So I already kind of need to have that figured out, but I want it on here. Um, so quilt festival, because the spending is gonna happen in November. So it's gonna have to do with like my November budget. So I need to plan for it now, but the plan affects November, so. Um, okay, and then Nutcracker Market. And Black Friday, which I should have done Thanksgiving first. I was thinking of like consumer goods shopping and not food shopping. Um, and then Thanksgiving because I wanna have the Thanksgiving plan done early so I can start buying things little by little in my normal weekly groceries. So it's not just like one big shopping trip all at once. Cause sometimes, even though it's like the same amount of money spent, it's still, I don't know, it's, it's easier when you can spread out the expense. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this gray marker and I'm gonna break up this progress bar into the amount of um, steps I have here. So on, all of them have even amounts. So these three have six and these two have four. So I'm gonna draw the first line straight down the middle on all of the ones that I'm doing this. So I'm, I'm not doing, I'm doing the two top ones and then the reviewing the money and the PTO I'm not gonna do the goals for December I'm not gonna do, but the content I'm gonna do down the middle. And celebrating Thanksgiving and shopping plans all go down the middle. Okay, but now for the two top ones, it's I need to split each side into three. And then also the Thanksgiving one.
And that way, every time I do one of the things I check off here, I can highlight across my line here, my progress bar, and I know how much to highlight across. And then on these other two, I'm just gonna split it evenly on each side. Okay, and the budgeting and saving money, I have three, so let's make a third. So I have kind of three different big savings buckets that I try to contribute to, and um, sometimes I do those at different times of the month, just depending on when the money is here and what money I'm using and stuff. And then these other two, um, I don't know. But now what I wanna do is I wanna look at what I have here and see what I need to um, move off my Kanban thing and see what I need to make new ones for. So the newsletter stuff is all over with and I will be sending that again in January. So I am going to keep those and just move them to the back of my planner here and then whenever I move into my new power sheets, I will have them. Um, to use again. Um, what do I need here? I don't need any of these for this month, so those can stay there. So PTO content, this was when I was thinking I was gonna make it all at once and have it be a, um, like a monthly thing where I had all the graphics done at once, but then that turned out to not really work for me right now. Um, but the PTO meeting, I definitely need up there. Um, these I'm gonna go ahead and put in the back. I don't think I need those. And then for PTO, I think that's really the only main thing I'm doing other than my weekly stuff. Um, there will be some events that I will be volunteering with, but I'm not um, really counting that. The masterclass will happen. The tending list will happen. I need to make one for power hour, I think. Um, we're playing with my puzzles. I wanna get some new puzzles, maybe. Um, we'll see. Um, I have one here for Halloween decor, which I've already, um, obviously don't need Halloween anymore. And then these are some old ones that that project's done. And all of this stuff is done. We'll, we'll keep the fall clothes one. Maybe I can use that one again next year for fall wardrobe reset. Planning content I will keep because that one's this one. This was a project that is basically done. Oh, I need to schedule a planning day. Um, and then movie night. We like to have a movie night. So these are all things that I want on here. And now let's make some new ones for this, for anything I need. Um, I think what I wanna do is I wanna make, um, I'm gonna make one main one for the deep clean and decorating for fall because those are things that I don't need to have individual ones. It's not, these are things that I intend to do all in one shot. Um, either, either, basically it's not gonna take me all month. It might take me one or two days during that week I'm doing it, but it's not something I need to kind of like keep track of over the course of the whole month. Um, so I'm just gonna do one, and then that way that will tell me I want to do that this week, you know, whenever I have it in the in progress section. So we're gonna say decorate for fall. And then the next one is deep, clean, living areas. And then um, plan December content I have over here and I'm not gonna break that one out because that one I have a, the systems I'm talking about, I have a whole another system for that and that's not something I need to clutter up my Kanban board with. Um, and then Thanksgiving, um, I'm going to break out Thanksgiving into planning, shopping, 
So let's say planning Thanksgiving and shopping for Thanksgiving because on the actual day, and we'll do prep ahead. Um, so we're gonna plan Thanksgiving and we're gonna shop for Thanksgiving. These are so, my handwriting is so bad on these, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna kinda cut these apart. So we have decorate for fall, deep clean the living areas, planning for Thanksgiving, shopping for Thanksgiving, and then let's also do um, prep for Thanksgiving for anything I wanna do ahead of time, which I will know after I plan it. Okay, and then on the shopping plans, let's make one for each, except Thanksgiving, because I already have that kind of um, in the shopping thing. So we will do quilt festival plan, nutcracker plan, and Black Friday plan. I'm gonna do a dollar sign, money plan. Um, and then Nutcracker. And um, Black Friday shopping plan. Okay, and I think that's good on those. Um, because that is a lot and that is, um, you know, there's enough going on here. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna move these, even though I haven't done them yet um, for this month, I'm gonna do them today or tomorrow and I already have them on my uh, planner. So it's not like I'm gonna forget and then that way this will all be ready for next month. So we will do all of this stuff. Um, you know, it's all up here now, and then when the month starts, I will pick a few to, to focus on the first week of the month when I'm planning, and I will pick a few and move them to in progress. And that's how that works, and so that's gonna go in here. And I think that's finally everything um, for my tending list video. I know it was long, but we like long videos, so it's okay. <laughs> um, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for being here and watching and hanging out with me. I hope you were planning on working on your goals as well. Um, if you were working on your goals, let me know what is something you are excited to work on in November, and um, I'll meet you down in the comments and have a little discussion. Anyhow, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post functional planning videos on my channel and if you liked this one you'll probably like those ones too and I'd love to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!